Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the May Love Forecast for the Cancer, okay? So, I'm going to do this one a little bit different. This is a six-card spread. Um, I will display a picture of the tarot card um, that I'm looking at so that you guys can see the cards. Also, um, make sure that you thumbs up the video for the new format. And also, if you are not a subscriber, make sure that you subscribe because I did reach my goal um, in April of 3,000 subscribers. So I will be having a giveaway. So be on the lookout for that video and make sure that you subscribe and thumbs up this video. All right. Okay, so we're going to be looking at um, what actions you need to take right now. We're also going to look at for the cancer. Um, what kind of sexual connection do you have with your partner or either the person that you're going to meet? Uh, what kind of emotional connection is it? Um, we're going to look at the external influences. Is this person long-term potential? And a final outcome card for the month of May. Hello? Huh? What are you doing? Oh. Oh. Oh, you're, you're knocking on Tyrese's door. I was like, hello. <laughs> Whenever I hear a knock, I say hello. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's go ahead and I'm done shuffling. And I'm just going to cut. I'm sure he doesn't talk, Jacob. I mean, Danielle. All right, I'm in the middle of a reading, so just don't be too loud when you're in here. Okay. All right, so a six-card spread if you want a more personalized reading. Again, this may not resonate with all of you Cancers or Cancer Risings, but um, hopefully, you know, we'll get we'll see some good cards here. So the first card that we got for uh, what you should do now. Now, this first card is whatever action you need to take. Um, this lets you know um, what your subconscious is telling you you should be aware of um, in your particular situation either about yourself or the other person and you did get the page of pentacles so for some of you cancers you are really tired and bored this is the card of boredom okay if you're in a relationship right now some of it may have lost its luster it doesn't mean that it's the end but it just means that you need to take action uh, meaning that you may need to reach out to that person. You may need to contact them. If you're single, um, you need to not be impulsive. Um, also, just to let you know, for a lot of you cancers out there, um, for the month of May, it's very important for you to not be impulsive. Okay? Find better use of your energy. So, you may be kind of twiddling your thumbs or getting bored in some ways. It may not mean that your relationship has gotten bored but maybe you feel as though it's it's not going um i don't want to say that but just don't be impulsive because i get the feeling that you know um this is a card of impatience because this is a younger person um this is also a court card so for some of you cancers there could be a younger person who is bored that is in your subconscious and this is something that you may have to deal with. Because whenever I see a page, I know it's a younger person. It's a court card, so it's a literal person, which could either mean you or someone else. Now, the page of pentacles, to me, when I look at the illustration, is a bit of a dickhead. And you can see, so this person is not very nice. They're actually bored. They're actually impulsive. They have nothing else better to do. And I think that this person could possibly be in your subconscious somewhere. Now, your sexual connection with um, your partner is, oh, goodness, you got the King of Cups. So this is amazing. The King of Cups is a highly emotional, deep, um, nurturing person and 
The king is always a literal person. So for some of you cancers, this is the person. Um, if you are single, um, this person is literally coming into your life in May because they came as the court card, which is a literal person. And that person is going to really exude a lot of sexual energy because it's going to make you feel secure. Um, and it's funny that, that I will get this card because this is a water sign card. And with that kind of energy of the water sign of the cups, um, there is the need for the emotional security. And then also, this person um, is very emotionally mature. Um especially when it comes to sex so that is what makes you tick as as a lot of cancers do because I talk to I do a lot of readings for cancers also so the king of cups again being a literal person I'm looking at card number two this is the sexual chemistry how do you feel about the other person sexually how much is this important to you and your intuition um, might warn you to, to pay some attention to that person, potentially. But this card is a very positive card, and um, it's showing that the sexual chemistry is very highly emotional. And it doesn't surprise me. What is your emotional connection? And you got the Seven of Cups. The seven being a lucky number, okay, this is a positive card in my opinion. Now, there is some sort of mixed energy in the emotions for you cancers with this seven of cups, okay? There is actually a positive message in this seven of cups as well. Um, for you, uh, for for the Cancers. Now, the Seven of Cups, um, there's Seven Cups positioned in an artist's studio where he struggles to depict them on canvas, relying on his subconscious. Rather than reality, he interprets his subjects with imagination and skill. So, this is about imagination, daydreams, having thoughts of fantasy. So, you and this person, you know, are definitely fantasizing about each other and you're fantasizing about the fact that you got so lucky with this emotional connection the cups being about emotion the fantasy is to fulfill the emotion and to use your imagination to do so This is a lot of fantasy. This is a lot of escape. I see within the Seven of Cups, there's this escape away from reality into this fantasy world. And I think this is how um, you or your partner sort of, um, you know, make the make life better because you know, with the Seven. Um, just looking at that number seven is really good because that's such a lucky, lucky number. And this is such a positive card. And this is also using imagination and skill, you know, um, to create this... Um, You know, using your imagination. This also can mean that I don't really see anything negative here, but I will say that there's um, somewhat of too much of a fantasy as far as with the emotions. You don't want to be delusions, delusion, disillusioned about, um, you know, what this person can do for you emotionally. But other than that, judging by the surrounding cards, um, this Seven of Cups is a positive card. Now, your external influences for May is going to be, oh, this is beautiful. This is the Eight of Cups. Hold on a second. 
Nope, this is the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups in the Deviant Moon Tarot. A lot of emotions this month. Emotions are running very deep. Emotions are deepening for the, the Cancer this month. Um, the Nine of Cups is a person using the energies from the universe to manifest. So your external influences that are greatly influencing the relationship success um, is sort of like um, some spiritual being. You know, whether or not you consider, you know, God or the universe or just someone that is granting wishes. So I see there being a lot of support surrounding the relationship. And I see there being sort of this, um, I'd say the external influences are the spirits. Um, the, I think that the Nine of Cups is a very spiritual card because, um, again, the illustrations, I mean, this is about material success, overall well-being, abundant pleasures, and choices, okay? So, literally, the world is your oyster, you know, which is why this person is sitting alongside the beach. They're, they're dressed very well. Um, they, have, they have found some sort of golden treasure. And um, it's 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 a really powerful card when it comes to that, and um, and also the the nine of cups um, is it's basically showing a young man <clears throat> uh, wanders in amazement at the apparition set loose before him. The genie bestows a wish upon the lad as nine cups levitate <clears throat> in a ring of mystical energy so this is all about magical energy so right now there's a lot of things happening um it's almost like a magical love connection especially with it with the apparition it's almost like you're seeing all kind of miracles probably even some synchronicities um especially if you have not met someone yet and you're still single um, the external influences are really in your favor to meet that person this month. Okay. Um, card number five is the long-term potential with this person. And you did get the chariot. So this is a really good card because this is about determination. So this person, whoever it is, whether or not you have recently met him and it's not serious yet, uh, the chariot is about determination. And it's really what the chariot means. It's, it's all about determination. It is a major arcana. So that means that this person is going to change your life. If you have not met them yet. Um, if you want to know if it's going to be long term. Yes. Is this person a keeper? Yes. This is a journey to new places. Boldly venturing into the unknown. So this is about ambition and determination. Okay. This is about overcoming past adversities. Okay. And also strength, you know, the chariot is about strength. So there's been a struggle, okay? And it was overcome. So this is a very solid foundation. I'd say that um, cancers, if you've been having issues with your love life, this month is looking up a whole lot better for you or it's looking up for you. Um, your final card um, also, let me just tell you one more thing about the chariot. Um, as far as with the long-term potential of the relationship, um, the chariot is um, someone dominating or controlling. Okay? Um... Very interesting. Um, I'd say that for a lot of you cancers, there's going to be some sort of um, sexual activity in, in a car, maybe. Or maybe it's going to start there with the chariot. But I definitely do see this dominating or controlling energy around you with the chariot. And that's, 
again it's 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 also the sexual energy in of the chariot so if it's something that you're looking for cancer then you know the answer would be yes now your final card is the emperor so again um, cancers you've got this amazing masculine energy all over this reading so for a lot of you cancer women you know if you've been looking for someone like that you definitely got them um, they are very mature the emperor is a major arcana uh, this is again domination or strict rules so if you are into that kind of thing that's what you're going to end up with this month you're going to end up with uh, first of all in the terms in the context of love okay I don't want to scare you guys because I know you're thinking, what, 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 what? But, you know, I, I guess it would depend. Um, most, I would say 90% of the cancer Zodiac women that I've talked to, they like dominating men. And the men like dominating women. Weird. Um, if you're single you might be falling for someone older than you is why this emperor came up so this person that comes to you is going to be either older by years or older you know by wisdom or just the way that they you know just their life experience um this person is going to be attracted to order and logic and organization this person is not you know going to deal with um you know, illogical behavior that just doesn't make any sense. They have a zero tolerance for it, in fact. Um, they rule with an iron fist, so just to let you know. Um, and for some of you that aren't exactly attracted to older men, the attraction may not have been mutual from the very beginning, or um, cancer, it could be that your partner wasn't very attracted to you in the beginning because you um, were showing some signs of maybe um, either, probably immaturity. I guess they felt that you needed some some guidance. Um, it's strange that you would get the chariot and then the emperor back to back um, one as a final outcome. So I would say, Cancers, that you are dealing with you are dealing with a dominating or controlling partner, and depending on what you you know like, it may be something that you like. So if you're looking for someone that I don't want to say dominator, dominating or controlling, obviously the Emperor is an alpha. Um, so, and, and then the chariot is also an alpha card. Okay. So, cause, and the emperor is about achievement. So you went, you're going to have two major arcanas this month. You went from the chariot and the chariot, the gen being determination. And then the emperor means achievement. So there is going to be a large achievement for the month of May. Um, with the, the Emperor card coming out for the outcome. Okay, so the Emperor um, is achievement. The Chariot is determination. And the Emperor is, is achievement. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I really, oh, you know what? One last thing about the Emperor. Um, the Emperor shows us that it's important the domination of the mind over the heart is sometimes not wanted, but in some cases it is necessary and even welcomed and that this is part of what we must think about when he appears. So when hard choices are to be made, he's here to say, make sure you maintain your concentration and focus. And this is something this time period will make it easy for you to do. So I do see you doing that. A lot of you cancers. Um, this could be you, you're going to, you, you know, just the assertiveness and the confidence and also learning self-control, learning what it brings and, um, you know, just moving ahead and doing what you know best and, you know, mastering things, you know, um, with your abilities. If you want a more personalized reading, Cancer, 
contact me on my website i hope that you enjoyed this reading i don't even know what theme i can give you guys for this month but i will say that um I will say that um, I, I will, I'll say that there's a strong protective energy surround surrounding you, um, Cancers, especially getting the King of Cups. You got three of the some of the most alpha male romantic cards in the deck: the King of Cups, and then the, the Chariot and the Emperor. So. I would say your theme for this month, Cancer, would be um, all that masculine energy surrounding you or something like that. I'll think of it. I'm sorry. Usually I'm able to think of it, but um, also just to let you know, some of you Cancer women, there's men that are going to be coming into your life this month, okay, because you got three men in the deck, three very good men, so... I'm going to say that your theme, Cancer, for this month is going to be you got a very good man. <laughs> you got a very good man that you're happy with. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys for next month. Bye.